is going to be published a little later in the year. She's still in process and you can hear the sound of Gungurus and I think that I need to say no more and we need to watch with bated breath as you will be transformed thank yourself. You. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I'm happy that we're back alive now. Uh, without further much ado, I will go into a, a performance. In my, in my reading, um, I had talked about my journey with my guru and um, there came a point where I was invited by a friend of mine to perform in the US. He told me to prepare something on Sufism. There I sat, uh, I, I told my guru and we started collecting poetry and doing research. We started composing uh, some pieces uh, and, and choosing the, the poetry and, and sat with the composer. After I left for the US, my guru continued to work on the pieces in the studio. While she was cooking, she would create the bold tukras, uh, the rhythmic pieces, and I would note them and we would send them to the composer. So here I present to you A little bit about the poet, Khwaja Gulam Farid. E husn hakiki, nure azal. O true beauty, your light is so bright. I present to you this piece in Adha Tintal, Rag Hamir. Without any gap, as we have been slightly delayed, I will also move to the second dance, which is by poet Sultan Bahu. It is composed in a variation of Jhaptal or the 10 beat rhythm cycle, and uh, music is by Raghavendra Bhattacharya. I hope you enjoy. Rag and Jyoti. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 
perform kia and she's going to go right into her next piece and her grace and her soulful dancing is unmatched i saw her dance first time 10 years ago and i was transfixed as i am today so asta the next piece like um, thank you <laughs> thank you
बहुत खूब बहुत खूब जैसे आपने देखा आस्था डांसेस फ्रॉम द सोल एंड शी राइट्स फ्रॉम द हार्ट आस्था वी आर कॉन्शियस ऑफ अ लिटिल टाइम सो टेल अस द लिंक एंड व्हेन आर यू गोइंग टू बी पब्लिशिंग योर बुक I know you're still in the process, and uh, there isn't a firm time. But you give the viewers a link uh, to your book. Due your to the, my book was due to be published sooner this year. Due to the COVID, uh, we've had to delay. Um, but I'm currently uh, in the process of trying to put it out as soon as possible. Um, it is a very personal journey about my life and uh, i really i'm looking for i'm really thankful to all the people that have showed up here i see so many friends family i'm really really grateful for your guys support um i urge you to stay tuned so we can keep you updated uh, about the book uh, the release of the book hopefully by latest end of this year or beginning of next year thank you so much for tuning in and for your patience during our uh, unfortunate technical difficulties uh, of course you know all of us performing artists know that uh, you know we are basically doing our best to share our art through these you know means uh, but sometimes you know we have our challenges thank you so much for being here with us today as for the link so you can go on to my website www.yourstrulyastha.com slash subscribe that uh, link will take you to a form where you can give me your email address enter your details so i can keep you updated about the upcoming tours and things related to the release of this book again that's www.yourstrulyastha.com slash subscribe thank you so much yours truly and Thanks to my dear friend here. I think it's such a beautiful name for her website. <laughs> Yours truly, it says a lot about Asta. Thank you so much. And we really hope that जो भी yes worldwide जो भी आज हम एक join किया है that you really loved the performance. Thank you. And the reading was beautiful. <laughs> Even the audio was a little low, but I'm sure a lot of people heard it. Thank you. Yeah. And like I said, um, actually we had uh, talked about Komal how. Um, Uh, there was a time in my life when i had uh, started uh, working alone on my own uh, as a dancer and i was performing largely on the stage of the world sufi music festival with uh, different you know well known personalities and i was truly i was traveling around the world and um, you had something to ask about after that <laughs> well i think the journey that interests me i mean i love dance and i love writing but she uh, went to vrindavan and that was a journey where of her soul where the doorway as asta puts it to bliss opened for her Thank and you. to me that is what i really want to find out in the book yeah. what was that journey so that this, led to that this doorway? particular chapter of mine is called two monkeys and um, there was a period of my life where i walked away from everything my success my dance everything um and i went to live in a forest uh and i took care of a baba uh he was very old and uh, you know it was a very unkempt place you know with like i talk about in the book with you know monkeys running around and and completely like you know it was uh you know like out in the open it was like you know in the forest um i stayed there for some time with him and i have uh, endless stories to share about that and also at the end of it how i came out of it and what i learned the truth about what lies in these ashrams so like i said please stay tuned thank you thank you <laughs>